Good morning to all of you and, uh, and a warm welcome. We are always glad to welcome you. It's not always quite such a warm welcome, but uh, we, we hope you feel embraced uh, by, uh, by this welcome. Every academic year at the Chapman University opening convocation, we're pleased and honored to uh, present an award of excellence named um, uh, in honor of and in memory of Albert Schweitzer. I was going to say that our campus uh, has a plethora of bus, but plethora seems to be the operative word. And so why don't you say we've got a whole lot of bus around campus. <laughs> uh, but as I have said a number of times, uh, with all of the bus that we have around that you'll be seeing over the next uh, years, or even the next hours, I suppose, as you go around the campus, the biggest and the baddest bus is the bust of Albert Schweitzer. Um, the, the bust of Schweitzer commemorates uh, the ethicist, philosopher, medical doctor, and musician who did so many things well and devoted himself to a life lived for others. Schweitzer called his ethic reverence for life, and when he said reverence for life, he meant all of life, human life, animal life, plant life. It is appropriate when you and I pass this bust uh, that we pause to reflect on how we may live as ethical people in our world, or uh, as our university mission statement puts it very well, how we may live inquiring, ethical, and productive lives as global citizens. We know from the newspapers that we read and what we see um, in our neighborhoods and all around the world that ours is a world that all too often manifests irreverence for life. And our world cries out for life to be revered. Schweitzer wrote, people are ethical only when life as such is sacred to them the life of plants and animals, as well as the life of their fellow humans, and when they devote themselves helpfully to all life that is in need of help. For over half a century, Albert Schweitzer practiced this ethic as a medical doctor and humanitarian at Lambrene in Gabon, in Equatorial Africa. Social responsibility, passion for life, passion for helping others. These are the, um, the qualities that the organization Concern America embodies. Since 1972, when Marianne Lowy and Dennis Gardy founded this wonderful organization, Concern America has helped thousands of materially poor communities in 15 different countries by training local populations to be the solutions to their own problems. Amazingly, Concern America recruits volunteer doctors, engineers, agriculturalists, and educators to go and dedicate at least two years of their lives um, and live with local communities in remote, difficult access areas of the world areas that are plagued by uh, poverty, by warfare. Um, and these specialists, these educators, these doctors and engineers live among the local population and they share their knowledge and their skills with them so that the villagers themselves gain the capacity to continue to work and share it with, uh, with the neighboring communities. Concern America stays with the communities for about eight to 10 years so that when they leave, the community is able to continue providing for themselves, but also train new people to carry on in the future. Um, so midwives and healthcare providers and, um, and agricultural engineers are developed within the community itself, rather than having to depend on outside organizations to help them. Concern America has field programs in Colombia, Ecuador, El Salvador, Guatemala, Mexico, Mozambique, and West Africa. The programs they sponsor include education, agriculture, um, income generating initiatives, economic development, community health, 
women's empowerment, um, and technology development. It's an amazing, inspiring organization, um, and they're headquartered right next door in Santa Ana. I congratulate Concern America and my good friends, Marianne Lowy and Dennis Garvey, on receiving this award, and I thank them for letting me be part of Concern America. It is also my pleasure to be able to give a few gifts, a few odds and ends, uh, as a token of our deep esteem and, and appreciation. Uh, to begin with, uh, we, we do have uh, the envelope uh, that we hope will help to uh, support the very worthy and very exciting work of Concern America. Uh, in addition, uh, I, I won't uh, remove it from its pedestal except for just uh, uh, we, we do have a bust. Now, this isn't quite as big as the bust I was talking about, but you have to admit, it's, it's a pretty, pretty attractive and uh, sexy little bust that we have. Uh, and so we, we are very glad to give this bust to Elvis Schweitzer. But in addition to that, what I think is the most important part of, uh, of what we can offer is, uh, we offer to Mary Ann and to Dennis uh, two bumper stickers. Paul, uh, <laughs> if you have reverence for life. <laughs> A bus and all, really. <laughs> we are delighted to be here today on behalf of Concern America to accept the prestigious Albert Schweitzer Award of Excellence on this very special day for all of you, Chapman University's Convocation 2010. Albert Schweitzer, philosopher, physician, humanitarian, minister, musician, missioner, and I would like to add lyrical poet who used his gifts to help us see and pause for beauty, even when we are bound up in tasks that seem to demand a different focus from us, in a world that is in the throes of some kind of transformational birthing. Just hear these his words. Slowly we crept upstream on one of the long African errands of mercy laboriously feeling for the channels between the sandbanks. Lost in thought, I sat on the deck of the barge, struggling to find the elementary conception of the ethical that's not discovered in any philosophy. At sunset on the third day, at the very moment when we were making our way through a herd of hippopotami, there flashed upon my mind, unforeseen and unsought, the phrase, reverence for life. Now I had found the idea in which world and life affirmation and ethics are contained side by side. That theme, reverence for life, pulsated throughout his thoughts and actions. It is also a declared value of Concern America, one that we hold dear, and that we try to live as we engage in our day-to-day -day mission among impoverished communities abroad. To respect the dignity of all those with whom we work, to participate in the building of mutual trust in an effort to continue to form true and lasting civil society, by speaking and living with integrity. Again, we are honored that Albert Schweitzer, the Albert Schweitzer Institute, Chapman University, and Concern America converge at this